Is this one a friend? You hear people saying, have at least two friends that will advise you as a married person. Is this particular one qualified enough to be called a friend? No, this is not a friend. This is a friend enemy. Friend enemy. Someone that doesn't want his friends good. That is just who I see in this guy. He just doesn't want anything good to come close to his friend. How can he compare himself to, to courage? The situation that his parents abandoned him and that of courage that his parents took care of him and he's forcing him to hate his mother this much. How can a friend, someone that calls himself a real friend, a genuine friend, be this selfish to advise his friend this bad? Me, I'm not blaming this guy, yo. I'm not blaming this kind of friend. I'm not. Who I'm blaming solely is the so-called foolish somebody, courage, that is accepting this kind of advice. Because this is just a clear example that he cannot even take actions on, on his own. All he depends on is evil advice is from his friend. This is uncalled for. This is uncalled for. He has tormented his mother to a point that this woman has given up. Who knows if she died? Because fainting, that kind of fainting that she got cold, it might be that this woman have, have, have joined her ancestors from the tormenting trauma that she got from this, this son of hers. Honestly, this is so heartbreaking. So this episode is just, is just so heartbreaking. Watching someone advise his friend is bad. What does he stand to gain? Like, what does he want to gain from this kind of evil advices that he's giving to his friend? Knowing fully well that his friend is so prone into accepting his own kind of advice. His friend is so, so open-minded that he doesn't even know how to detect between good and bad. And he just sees this opportunity to do this kind of thing, to give him this kind of selfish advice. Now he's no longer his mother. He's indirectly shifting his strong advice towards the new bride, Muna. And very soon now the marriage will set kick up. And every all you'll be hearing is buzz buzz every day because of wrong advice that someone just woke up one morning and decides to fool his own friends, his own friend with. Honestly, I'm so disappointed in courage. I'm just so disappointed in AGK for standing so low, stooping so low to accept this kind of evil advices from a friend that doesn't even know anything about love, about parental care. At least he experienced the love a little. Courage experienced that love. But the selfish reason he's giving for hating on his mother is still what I cannot justify, honestly. His friend's case is quite different. At least those, that one, they abandoned him. They are, his parents abandoned him. But he, AGK, his parents took good care of him. Just that they could not give him the whole world just as he wanted, just as he requested of them. They couldn't give him all that he wanted the little they had, they gave it to him to the fullest. Yet he's been so, so ungrateful to the point of treating his mother so badly. Does he actually know the kind of traumatic damage that he has caused this woman? This woman will be will, will forever have this trauma of her own son treating her this, this bad. She will forever have this trauma in her and it, it kills faster than anything. Action kills faster than anything. Even spoken words might be forgotten, but you see action, people hardly forget how you react towards them, how you treated them. So today's episode, I was just so, so emotional. I was just, it was so heartbreaking. And the ending part of it was so heartbreaking for me. It was so heartbreaking. Watching this woman going back to her, to her home, traumatized, so traumatized. Ha <laughs> ha! What kind of thing, according to that um, Ichie, what kind of thing will a mother, will parents do to their own son to warrant this kind of evil treatment? This is way too much. This is way, way too much. Honestly, guys. So what are your thoughts on today's episode? Because with what I'm saying, hmm, the kind of calamity that will befall this guy when it starts, eh? I don't think there is any medicine man that can cure him of that calamity. And it's so unfortunate that Mona is now a part of that. She will definitely be a part of that calamity. She will definitely, because she's married to this guy. So what affects him will definitely affect her as a wife. That is it. So I just love the way that she's trying all her best to put things in order. 
a lot of things are yet to be told why this guy hates his parents his mom that is the only living parent that he has why he hates her so much because i'm still in doubt that those flimsy excuses he has been giving can't actually be the reason no it can never be the reason and as for courage friend so i suggest two things are left for mona to carry out if she truly loves herself is it that she walks away because this thing i'm seeing here is not really marriage because the grounds on which this lady married this guy is actually not um fully the love but his mother because of his mother to to handle her rights to make sure that she's been taken care of is it that she cannot still do this she cannot still take care of this woman even without marrying his mother so so the ball is now in her court to play because someone that hates his mother this much will not hesitate to hate you too as far as you're a woman someone that we hate his own mother someone that carried him in his stomach for in her stomach for nine good months he wakes up one morning and decides to hate them this much and who do you think you are that that he cannot hate obviously you ain't nobody as well so right now that courage is strategizing how he's going to like uh manipulate his wife into being that um that kind of wife that he wants the one that he will control to the point that she won't have a say just like his friend is busy giving him that wrong advice and he's busy accepting it into his brains to carry them out and plot them out very well to his satisfaction just because he hates his mother okay I just can't wait for him to carry out this um, activity of his, how he will do it. I just can't wait for Mona to also give him back double fold of what he's going to dish out to her. And as for the traditional marriage aspect, like I said in my previous review, that for this guy to manipulate this lady into marrying him in the court, yeah, she should just forget about anything tradition. That is just the simple truth. That is just the ugly truth. You should just forget about anything that will make that guy think of traditional marriage or marry her in the traditional way. So with her not being uh, married traditionally, that means her bride price has not really been paid. So this guy just rudely married her by the law. She did not even pay um, homage to the parents of the lady. None of her parents, I don't think that her parents are even aware that she's married. So she just jumped into this marriage of a thing with the guy. They just did their court marriage. No traditional rights was done on, over her head. So courage is owing her parents. Courage is owing her people everything. So it's now up to Mona to face, to man up and face this guy. Because what I'm seeing here, this guy does not love this lady well enough. Because if he truly loves this lady as he claims... He won't hate his mother for the sake of the love he has towards his wife. He will listen to his wife and do the needful love his mother again. So if this guy can hate his mother this much, let Muna not expect something less of courage. Because a lot is going to unfold. Adding to the fact that he has this kind of damn friend, this damn of a guy. Trust me, this marriage is never going to stand very firm. But it only takes the grace of God if Mona fights for it, fight for everything. And if she doesn't give up, then she might succeed. But what I'm seeing, she has a lot of battle to face. Just like this um, courage friend, the good one said to her that she should be willing to fight a lot more of other battles. So as the series gets to unfold, we are going to see how this guy, courage, will manipulate his wife. I just can't wait to see how Mona is going to retaliate just to make sure that she keeps herself safe and her mother-in-law safe as well. So that is it for my today's review. So what are your thoughts on today's episode? Do you actually think Mona actually did the right thing by marrying this guy even when her purpose of marrying this guy was to suit her mother-in-law? I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next review. Bye for now.